Hello, welcome back to our piano tutorial. Today we're learning Prelude to a Kiss by Alicia Keys. This song is very, very pretty. I've been wanting to do this song for quite some time now. I'm finally getting around to doing it. Um, it's not, it's not a difficult song really. There's uh, only a couple chords you need to know, and it's really pretty for the ones who want to sing along with it. So, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, I'm playing the uh, little intro uh, segment before getting into the actual lyrics. So, once we learn that, the chords will be on top of your screen be able to figure it out for you guys and let's get into it. And then it goes on and on and on like that. We'll get to that stuff later for now and we'll work on these four chords we learned up here. Alright, so here's middle C. Take your left hand, you're gonna put the thumb on A, and that's gonna be your first note. Go an octave above to this A and make an A7 chord. And that, uh, those are A, C sharp, C sharp, E, and G sharp. We are in the key of uh, A major. So. so A, A, C sharp, E, and G. What you're gonna do is do this little glissando E. It's not glissando. But, you know, I can't think of what this is. Uh, a roll. I'm, I'm going to call these rolls. Uh, it's it's a A7 roll. Go up to this B next. So, B. And then you're going to go an A7 chord down. And what I mean by that is that all the notes you're going to play are part of the A7 chord. So you go A7 chord, B, A, G, E, C sharp. And which are all part of the A7 chord. So you have this. All the way to this A. Then you get to this G7 chord. Which you're going to play G in your left hand with G, B, D, and F sharp. Do this roll again. So you have this G7 roll. Go up to this G. F sharp, D, B, F sharp. All those notes are also in the uh, G7 chord. Okay, there's F minor 7 chord now. Another roll. Playing F sharp with your left hand and F sharp, A, C, and E in your right hand. So you have this uh, F, major, F minor 7 chord, F sharp, A, C, <laughs> F sharp, A, E, C sharp, A. Again, all notes in the F minor 7 chord. F sharp, A, E, C sharp, A. But you have this F7 chord, which you're going to play F in your left hand. <clears throat> Excuse me, with F, A, C, and E in your right. And this chord is easy, because you go. You're gonna go C, A, F, slowly, and then get into this stuff, which we're gonna get to. Uh, I'm going to play the four chords you just learned very slowly for you guys, so you can look it up. If you have uh, any questions, again, chords are on the top of your screen, and I'm going to write out all the all the notes and how to how to play it. So if, if there's any confusion, it should be cleared up by the black box. So I'm going to play the first eight bars uh, of the song before the lyrics happen because once you get to lyrics, you realize it's super, super simple to learn. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that for you guys right now.
All right, so as you might be able to tell, there's really two chords being played. You have this A major chord. You have this D7 chord. Or I'll play it like this. This D7 chord. And they just go back and forth with each other, just different uh, ways of playing it. So the first two measures sound like this. So on this, uh, you're, well, excuse me, you're going to play uh, in your left hand, A, and for, for right now, uh, leave your pinky on D with your thumb on A, because it's super simple, all you're going to do is be playing, um, all you're going to do is playing the A or the D for your, for your root note. So your right hand's going to be playing B, C sharp, and E together in the first two, and uh, for your first A, A chord, and your left hand will be playing this A. And the rhythm for that is just one, two, three, and four, and, right? So the first two are kind of together. So one, two, three, and four, and, on that A major chord. If you're gonna go to this D7 chord, which is D in your left hand, as we said before, with A, C sharp, and F sharp. F sharp. Fun, fun stuff. Um, uh, yeah, that. And for the, for these D chords, you're just going to be playing quarter note rhythm. So you know how the A major chord went like, you know, one and two, and or it's gonna go, it, uh, after a while it'll do something fancy, which we'll get to later. But this D, this D7 chord, you're going to play one, two, three, or go up to this A. Not doing any fancy, any fancy stuff with that, just one, two, three, four. So those first two measures again, slowly, are one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. Now your right hand, or excuse me, your next two measures, are going to be this. And basically, it's almost the same rhythm. You're just gonna change a couple notes in, uh, for that A major chord. So you're gonna go one, two, and three, and. So you're playing B, C sharp, and E again. One, two, and three, and. You're gonna go to this A. So slowly, one, two, and three, and, oh, excuse me, one, two, and three, and four, and. On that and, you're gonna go up to the D7 chord uh, uh, noting that you had earlier. Two, three, four, right? So again, slowly, one, two, Third measure is my favorite. Uh, it uses all of the A7 chord for you. Sounds like this. So again, so slowly you're gonna be playing. So your first uh, first beat is gonna be playing B, C sharp, and E. So one, two, on that uh, on B two, you're gonna play an A major chord, A C sharp, E. One, two, and three, and two, three. Playing G sharp, C sharp, and E. Sounds a bit mysterious, but over the A, it's pretty. So one, two, and three. Back to that A major chord on the and. So one, two, and three, and four, and then the D seven chord. One, two. This is different. So really, you're playing right hand's gonna play a B octave 
on top of the left hand E octaves. They're going to uh, a D5, so okay, so you're playing an E5 chord, which is basically it's an E major chord without the third, which is G sharp, so E5 chord, then D5 chord, so it's D, it's in your left, D's in your left hand, uh, A's in your right hand, octaves. And that fourth measure, just re uh, fourth measure, that fourth, uh, those last two bars repeat the ones you just did, so. Besides the uh, the E5 and D5 chord, one, two, three, four, and that's when the lyrics come in, and that's when you, uh, well, that's when people start singing. So I'm gonna play all of what I just did very slowly for you guys. Again, everything's in the black box top of your screen. I'll make sure to put it there for this part. It's a bit tricky. first eight measures before the lyrics come in. Now when the lyrics come in, um, really it's the, that, a, that A chord and that D7 chord just playing on top of each other without all the fancy stuff. Like if you're singing this song, all I want you to do to make it easy on yourself, if you're like a beginner, don't know uh, a lot of singing and playing uh, that's hard, <laughs> that made no sense, but you know what I mean. If, if it's hard for you to sing and play at the same time, just do these chord notes for this eighth note rhythm, but nothing to get so fancy about. Two, three, four, and one. You know, something like that to uh, make it easier on yourself. But the verse is just what you play. You know, it just simp uh, simplified down. You have that A chord, and you have excuse me, this uh, D seven chord, and then you get to like this. Um, I want to I want to call it a bridge, but you get to this part. Uh, here we go. It's, it is a bridge, but it isn't. I'm gonna call it a bridge. So before you get into the bridge, you're gonna end up playing that A7, that A7, that A chord, and that D7 chord, uh, I think four times. Uh, so you're gonna be playing for, no, for another eight measures from what, I'm, from what I'm, I'm recalling. So you play that, you know, that nicely, and then that one, two, to get into the bridge, uh, which your first chord is a D chord, right? So you have D's in your left hand, or A, D in your left hand, you have A, D, and F sharp in your right, and you can do whatever pattern you want. For me, I do one, two, three, and four, and it's just easier for me. Then you go up to this E major chord, just E's in your left hand, B, E, and G sharp in your right. Same pattern as the, uh, the D chord before. One, two, three, and four, and then repeat that. So that D chord again. That E chord again. Then you have uh, kind of almost like the beginning. Same, actually, same kind of chord progression as the beginning. You have this A chord. I do this little run. Which is just A, B, and C sharp. G chord. 
I'm going to slow it down for you guys. So after the e, e major chord, A chord to G chord, which is what you learned earlier. I, I play G and D in my, right, in my left hand and G and B in my right. Three, four, one. And that's an F minor chord. F sharp, no, F, F sharp minor chord. F sharp, A, and C sharp. For one, two, three. Now it repeats again. Actually, it repeats two more times. A, G chord, F sharp minor. One more time. A major chord, G major chord, F sharp minor. Then you get to this chord, which is funny because this chord is not any A major scale. You have an F. F major chord, it's a plain old F major chord, which is F and C. I do it in my left hand, but you have F, A, and C in your right. Play this four, uh, play that for four minutes, four beats, excuse me, four beats. One, two, three, four, and I go to this E major chord for four beats. To the chorus, when can you send me an angel? That's what she sings. I'm not going to sing it because, trust me, I do not have a singing voice for it right now. Or uh, you can't be Alicia Keys, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. I mean, you have you know, the uh, can you send me an angel, which is the uh, exact same chord progression as um, the eight measures before and the uh, in the verse as well. So that's a lot to throw at you guys. I'm going to slow it down for you. I'm going to be playing from that D major chord very slowly until we got up to uh, what we just got to. So let's slow it down. Again, top of your screen. That's the bridge, I'm gonna call it the bridge, uh, like I said before. And then you get into the lyrics like I was talking about before, can you send me an angel, which is just A major and D major, oh, and then D7. So, can you send me an angel? You can play D major or D7. If you're gonna play, if you're gonna play a D7 chord, don't use this it just does not it doesn't sound right for, for my personal uh hearing i'm just gonna play that that c sharp in, in clashing with the d right there and you're gonna play that uh until we until the song just ends so you're gonna play it on and on and on until the song ends so you have this a major chord guys enjoyed the tutorial if you do like these uh, consider subscribing to my channel for a lot more I have a couple Alicia Keys songs on there I think uh, uh, geez what do I have in there if I ain't got you and blended family is on, up there right now at this time but and there's probably plenty more to come so if you like it uh, consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you guys next time